Hello, world. Surprising but true. Every day on average. Record snowfall, killer tornadoes, devastating floods. There's no doubt about it. The weather in the USA has been positively wild. But why? A new experiment called In Space, No One Can Hear You Scream. Every day. Experimenters have learned to start fires without flames from the human brain. Every day. It literally pulses us. Every day. You're not imagining things when it happens to you. But occasionally attracts attention. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... My mind is blown while everybody is gobstopped over the sand stoplight on Mars from an American photograph, India releases their first photograph. How come it looks so much different than most of the photographs we've seen from Mars? I don't know, something about it just seems almost totally, completely different. Is that just me? Or do you feel that too? I got a weird feeling, man. A real strange feeling. Welcome to the Great Grand Martian Mars Conspiracy. You remember back in the day when Nostradamus said in the year 1999, seven months, the great king of terror shall come from the sky. He will bring to life the king of Mongols before and after Mars reigns happily. That is Century 10, Quatrain 72. Well, as you may know, in 2001, we had the planes hit the towers. The towers fell. Pretty much from that day on, war has reigned happily. And NASA has been WTF obsessed with Mars. I mean, they've got like 18 robots on Mars that we know about. No telling how many more robots they have on Mars we don't know about. But this great conspiracy comes to me from a professional astronomer. I won't say his or her name. I don't want to get him in trouble. But it was pointed out that remember when India took 70 million three years and put an orbiter around Mars? Remember that? It's called Mom. Yeah, it was only a couple months ago. Very, very soon after, NASA signed a deal with India to quote unquote work together. And since then, India hasn't put out a single photograph. That's pretty interesting. What is fascinating is the fact that nowadays, how separate governments and the public that pays for them have become. It truly is a case of the slave master and the slave. The slave master lives, dines, travels, parties off the labor of the slaves. So though we pay for NASA due to its Department of Defense designation, the war on terror, homeland security, and all the things it does, only a scratch of the information they get is given to us. And at times, you know, it sure seems like the scientists who we pay their salaries don't like us much. They don't like the public at all. They're like, hey, just give me your money and shut up. And then I'm going to tell you there's no God. There's climate change caused by carbon, CO2. And I need more funding. So what is going on, party people? I know Nostradamus had talked about the Legion 100 miles above Earth would rule. That sounds like NASA. So maybe NASA's running the show. You know, they got some wonderful particle weapons that could vaporize people, destroy cities. And so, either you put up with their demands or you're going to die. Who knows, man? Fun stuff. Tell me what your thoughts are. I thought this was important. I thought this was something we should discuss. And NASA, I'm just kidding. Please don't kill me. Thank you. God bless everyone. September 23rd, 1999. Supposedly due to problem with the metric system. Could this qualify? Is our 1999 terror from the skies? I think quite possibly yes. Yes, it could. So this is all weird. And if you've been following my channel or even following NASA since the death of JFK, they are really, really weird. And in all honesty, I think I trust the Federal Reserve more than I trust NASA. And that's just my honest assessment. Though, if you want to, you can really enjoy their retouching of old photographs. Because everything old is new again. All right, God bless everybody. And be on the lookout for NASA ninjas. Yeah, so it's as simple as that. At the beginning, everybody was excited. I was excited. I even noted that India's Mars photographs looked different than the ones I'd seen before. And then NASA quickly signed a deal with India within a week. And then all the information out of India dried up. And remember that really expensive, really awesome MAVEN satellite that got there at the exact same time? What have we gotten, a photo or two? It's been over 100 days for both of them, you know? And all the awesome hard science they talk about? That's not for the public's eyes. You are not worthy. Anyway, I love you. Peace out. What lies? What? Half of the sun appeared to be blowing itself to bits. What? Some of her favorite experiments are in the area of human health risks. It happened again. It would not be the last. A telltale sign of mysterious dark matter. Auto engines.
It is peanut-shaped and filled with almost nothing. And much more. Ma'am, you are not making no damn sense. And blue jets shoot toward the heavens simultaneously. No way. Why am I a Wookiee? God bless. Y'all have a good night. Peace out. See you on the flip side. Fine. Okay. That's right. Fine. Okay. That's right. Fine. Okay. That's right.